Well, we had the Parmar shootout going on at West Virginia State. George Washington faced Oak Hill. We start this one with Jita Ball. Benjamin Nicole finds an open Hunter Castleberry. Castleberry swishes the mid-range jumper. Red Devil Ball now. Jacob Purdue drives to the basket. Some nice body control to avoid the charge right there. And we go back to the Patriots. W WVU commit Darren Fitzpatrick steals the Red Devil. Inbounds pass. Fitzpatrick goes coast to coast for the lay-in. Oak Hill on the run here. Samuel Chris gets the ball in the corner. A pump fake. Use that pump fake. Kids gets you open every time he drains the three. But George Washington stayed in front of this one. The final 61 to 42. And in the game before that, Huntington faced Parkersburg South. Highlanders Montez Tubbs gets a steal here. Takes it all the way down for the easy lay in. Just beautiful right there. Parkersburg South gets the ball next. Ashton Mooney with a handoff to Brady McCullen. May, sorry, McMullen drives the lane here. Goes up and under for two. And back to Huntington. Huntington's Tyrone McNeely flying up the court. He takes it strong to the hoop for the bucket. Beautiful shot right there. And we go back to Parkersburg South. And hey, is that Bob Ross's grandson? He paints a pretty picture with a spin, a pump fake, and the foul. The Patriots win it the final 72 to 64. And we had a great game between Capital and Cabell Midland. The Cougars walk away with a 74 to 69 victory after 21 lead changes. Hoover took on Midland Trail and won by 20, the final 64 to 44. And the Big Reds took down a young Spring Valley squad, the final 75 to 62.